Hello and welcome to some more Train Simulator 2020 content, where well, today we're going to be at the helm of an EWS Class 37 as we rescue a uh, failed cement train from the night previous. Should be quite a good little route. If you guys have any route recommendations you want me to give a bash, please do let me know and I shall see what I can do for you. Okay. If you guys would like to help support the channel, you can do by donating to the PayPal link found down below. Any and all funds go straight back into the channel. If you'd like to include your name uh, when you do so, um, or you can leave a message uh, when you do this one, I need to thank uh, in a later video, just to show my, my gratitude. And then at some stage I'm going to be working out something uh, more grand with the channel. Uh, so if, if merch is the sort of thing that uh, will generate a bit of interest, then I can certainly look into that. So it's purely all down to where to minus one. But if, if you would uh, be ever so kind as to uh, donate to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated as it allows me to uh, really expand upon this and just break into different things. Not only for this, this game, but uh, just for everything that I do with the channel as a whole. So I have no idea what to expect in this particular run. What well, I know is we've got a nice, glorious, beautiful winter scene. I'm not going to worry about lowering that. Keep an eye on everything around us, and we'll go and pick up the um, spare wagons. It says the train's been de-iced, but I suspect it may need to be done just once more, given the fact that the weather conditions aren't what I call perfect. Sizably map is a decent uh, description of how things could be. Yes. Well, our speed is doing well at the moment, so it should just keep her going. Let's, uh, let's just do some, some drive passes. Sounds absolutely gorgeous. I've got to say. Okay, the AWS will kick in shortly, which means we're going to be approaching the red light, so we're going to want to start slowing down for that once we pass the light. Okay, there we go. That's actually just shut her off now. And that's just a price. I still the pips are quite more straight. Problem is, I'm, I can't get too used to this because at some stage I'm going, to, I'm going to start pulling and braking with a heavy load. So I'm going to have to uh, get used to the brakes being a bit more less responsive, really. Okay, let's... There we go. Just a little bit of pressure. Because we're following a stopping service, it's just going to uh, be a case of us tracing signals the entire time. So let's let's just release that. If we gave it enough. Let's keep another signal on the head. Let's see what we can do. and externally. Hold on. Internally and externally. Uh, okay, I'll play. No, 
time. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, that's fine. We all just... Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll work with that. Just sit here and uh, admire the views. Wait for the line to change. I'm not going to bother trying to request permission to pass the danger. Nice round here when it's snowing. Well, literally all all we can do at this stage of proceedings is just sit and wait. There is uh, not a, a great deal we can do. Worth a shot. The shadows of me man in there. Guess I thought that was a bit odd. I thought it was kind of a bit strange. Has that actually done anything? Bizarre. Oh, there we go. Right. Beans! Scenery as I now have to pay the brakes again. Stop, Stop speeding. Naughty. Bad 37. Don't make me break again. Fine. Fine. I'll do it. I'll just keep on braking. It doesn't bother me. You're, you're so determined to speed, I will just keep slowing you down. The sun is starting to rise over the hills. Should look quite nice when this is all lit up. Breaking. Breaking. Release the brake. Is there something coming? Ooh. Is it? Oh, it's a 60. Is it? It's a 66. The load of HTAs taking my head off. That is a decent break of HTAs. Oh, hello. We can uh, open her up a bit. There we go. And slow it back down. <laughs> oh, because we're coasting downhill, I have to I basically just have to keep on playing with the brakes just to. Give her a little bit of encouragement, just to stop speeding. Oh, 
yellow coming up. But you can actually see the road straight ahead anyway. So, it's like the majority of this is going to be spent chasing signals. smoking or naked heights engine compartment. I wouldn't dream of it. Looks like it's just changed. Okay. Speed and power. So with many things. We know this. The Lord Almighty does think so. Should be arriving at Kirby Stephen, where this damaged train has been prepared. Please stop at platform two before changing ends and heading back into the sidings to couple up. Okay. Right, let's take that down. Let's have a communication with brakes. I could just keep doing that, by the way. I could just keep literally having these air brakes going. Much like that. Oh. I've done something. <laughs> I can hear noises. Okay. start playing with a bit of gentle cruise. So if we're going to be backing up, we should actually see the consist. Uh, well, well, we'll be running alongside the consist. So we'll be able to see what it is we're going to be hauling. Okay. No. Oh, stop it. Must remember to stop hitting up the pull way around. Okay, let's hop outside and uh, check out the local scene. See the sun is starting to rise. Point nine of a mile to go. This will probably slow down way too much, but we get to take in the ma the, uh, the majesty of just the uh, Britain in the winter. Oh, she always looks like this. Ever so tranquil. Admittedly, tranquility and a class 37 don't actually go hand in hand when it comes to uh, peace. And saying that, I wouldn't have an issue with listening to this all day long. Okay, there's our wagons. Whoops. Keep doing that. 
So, are we actually going to be towing a dead 37 as well as? There's the wagons in question. Okay. Yes, so we're going to be having a 37 dead in tow as well. 37 4, is that 4 Oh, hello. There's our lads. Shoot like a good one. Just make sure that now the headlights the right way. Yes, we do. Excellent. Hello driver, now changes, but I've just I've already done that. Uh, before contacting the signal user control tab, once, sorry, control, control tab, once this permission is gained, you will then be given a signal to proceed back to the siding to rescue the train. Approach the product promoted carefully and roll gently onto it, it will couple you to the console. Control, control tab. I just press tab normally and that works fine. No, I've got to do control tab, but okay. Something new. with a massive weight behind it. But are we going to be waiting for something behind us to pass, or are we going to be given the road straight away? Okay, let's start breaking from here. Okay, let's release that. If I can do it in and around the one mile an hour mark. Okay. Now we're coasting up hills. We're going to need to have a little more. Okay, there we go. No, okay. That's... This is going to be tight. Now I can't see where the end of my nose is in relation to this, so this is going to be a... Be a complete guessing game. Okay, so I've got a couple up, I've got a couple up manually. Okay, that's fine. Well, we need to go. It's not. Come on. I've got to bring this right to the front. There we go, we're in. Now you're coming up for the power train and we're required to once again change ends where you are good to proceed northbound to Carlisle. Please take care from now on. The current railhead conditions are poor. Right, let's just get the braking going, make sure we're all tidy. Okay. You, don't need you. Right, are we good at this end? Okay. So we're prepared to proceed. Let's release that. Let's now see how this girl does with full weight. Up. Only well, it must be said. OK, 
Okay, let's release that. the lighter it gets.
I love the long distances that can be so much on this road. speedometer there. Even though we're going downhill, I wouldn't exactly say that we're we're busting a gut in the uh, acceleration. about it, isn't it? we pass on our journey. Another 66 passing by. Another load of HDAs. A decent length as well. Let's just look outside and just uh, admire the beauty of it all. I wouldn't mind betting that we end up catching up to that uh, local stopper anyway, we get held at a light. That's a problem to be gone, it's not going to be on a hit. Otherwise we could be in a spot of bother. Ooh, caravan bar. Hello caravans. Stationary. Oh, right then. Ooh. Very nice. Oh, 
no, no, it's the on the side. Oh, thank God for that. Well, we have the three signals in uh, close succession, so it'll be interesting to see how this one plays out. start slowing down because we've got a 30 limit approaching in one and a half miles so I just want to make sure that we can slow down sufficiently if I end up having to in fact we are actually going to slow down quite quickly so I can actually release that to be fair. just leave it running a bit so we get the gurgling gurgle 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 think we're going to slow down sufficiently. I must admit, I thought it was going to be a bit more of a struggle. Especially as we only have uh, one working loco of this uh, drone. There's a warning for the 30 limits. So what we're going to do now, we'll start slowing down with half a mile to go. Brings the thing quite comfortable, and then it puts it off. Another little holiday park.
single track section. Speed limit is, uh, is 30 for reasons. Intentional, by the way, that was a that was, that was a very good pun. Completely unintentional. Now, why is it thirty through this section? It's on this side. What makes it thirty? Nothing that I can really see. It's just a load of bridges, but I don't know. Somebody somewhere will know, I'm sure. The way it's going, I can just keep this up because by the time the last wagon passes that speed limit, we'll still be uh, just under 31 miles an hour, so we won't get done for speeding. That's my theory. Okay, admittedly, a lot of my theories get blown out of the water completely, but. Uh, yeah, this, I, I'm confident with this one. And I was right not to interfere. Get in. Okay. Power! Hey, 
comparable lighting conditions. It's still very, very nice. Okay, let's see what we've got in terms of the uh, second look here. Is it could be a lot brighter? So I'm just going to put it out there. I love the, the combination of modern signal with summer ball. That's fantastic. Just on the wild sort of going through the tunnel. It's the point that's happening on. I'm generally surprised, all things considered, we haven't actually come across uh, some more signals telling us to stop. But that stopper that we're supposed to be chasing, we couldn't have given it that much time when we were uh, picking up our load. Forward here. Where, where are we passing through? Where, where is this? Langworth B. Excellent. Excellent. Of town to be fair. Good fun approach. There we go. Over this one. Oh boy. And the back down we go.
going downhill now, which uh, just means that I've got to just be a little more better with the throttle, or the regulator, if you uh, want to be proper. We call it the lounge pedal. Pedal? Pedal. It can be a pedal if you like. It can be uh, delicate and soft and sweet. Or you just call it the loud pedal. The loud pedal works. It makes noise when you give it the full monty. Much like this. through then. Lands and be. Very good show. Oop, I can hear birds tweeting. Excellent. Whoever the customer is for this cement, they couldn't have been that eager for it if they were prepared to wait um, all evening. Well, mind you, I don't actually know when the cement train left originally, so the, the fault could have been reported. And then five minutes later, I get sent out with this. I just don't know. But it says last night, so you got to assume that it was sort of, you know, in between the hours of you know, seven and ten potentially. You can actually see here we're starting to slow down. We're doing fifty-four now. Oh, 
we're doing 55, so we're sort of we're slowly creeping up. <laughs> wow, what an amazing view! That's the thumbnail right there. Oh, 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 More and more scenic the closer we get to Carlisle. But this 37 can do with a rest after all this. She's done very, very well. So just over 11 miles to go. Okay, what have we got here then? We have... Armoth weight. Okay!
was being brethren. Okay, right. So, 50 miles per hour. Let's now see how we can do giving it the full beans and see how long it takes us to get to uh, 60. We've got eight and a bit miles before we hit um, Carlisle. So, let's see how long we do. In fact, actually, oh, we're still dropping speed. Don't you see the clag from back here? It's very, very good. And it's quiet. Nah, we want to back here, don't we? Of course we do. slowing down.
Ditching Hall, ja. So we are actually on the final approach to Carlisle, so we're going to shut off. Let's just hop in the capital bottle section, shall we? Sit back and get, we can actually pop out and just uh, look at some of the building. I love it, they're all snow covered, it's fantastic. I love this whole winter type of scene type of affair that's going on. That I like, very, very nice. next to us. No. <laughs> I must stop doing that. Still carrying plenty of momentum going uh, going down, so again it'll be a case of playing with the brakes. Hello, what's up there? That's some um, oh, food box. Oh, HTA is either your spider. Oh, excellent. Just sat there waiting for their uh, their next duties. 
Okay, I've got anything at the helm. Nope, it's just a rake waiting to be used at some stage. speeding up again so you've got a 20 limit coming up anyway. Anything in Carlisle greeting us? Uh, a couple of 158s, uh, uh, we're in third duties at some stage. It's casually crossing over. say that this 37 has done very, very well. a race of success. Nice little run up. Okay, 37, 418, uh, a, a decent, uh, decent haul.
correct choice as Dry Beer have really excelled here and the cement customer will still receive their delivery within an acceptable time frame. Another driver will now take over for a short journey upward to the yard. Okay. Well, target's completed 19 out of 19, stopped 2 out of 2, picked up 17 vehicles, speeding 15 times, and I used the horn in proper once. Get in there. Well, I think that was a very successful run and uh, one that I'm quite happy with. Our next little flurry is going to be on the East Coast Main Line. And we are going to do, 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 do. We're going to do a staff train. Let's have a quick little sneak at what we're going to be doing. Early morning passenger service from Peterborough to King's Cross. Should be jolly good fun. Looking forward to doing that. And that will be the next video after this one. So, thank you all very much for watching. It is greatly appreciated. If you've enjoyed what you've seen today, then please do like and subscribe. Feel free to leave a comment. I do go back to them as and when I get the opportunity to. Any route recommendations you have for me or trains you'd like to see me drive, then please do let me know and I'll see what I can do. Please bear in mind that the Class 91 and 315 are off at the moment as I'm experiencing some sort of issue with them. So, until next time, I shall see you all later. Take care, guys. Goodbye.